19 years ago, on June 28, 1997, a small creature was born. Today, we're here to celebrate the annual growthings of this creature. And this year is a special year because this creature is turning 19, a number that is a prime number and isn't divisible by anything but it, by itself and one. So for this birthday, I will be taking you on an adventure, an adventure like no other that you have experienced in this past 19 years. Here I bring you the desert. I'm making a video for Nikki. So I'm trying to make it dramatic. Don't follow me. That rock is kind of cool. Reminds me of my good friend Nikki. Check it out. It's an excited member of the Way family. You got his phone out. So free. What? What's that? Fish. Oh my god. It's a dead fish. But when there's death, there's also rebirth. So don't cry. It's really sunny here. And I didn't put any sunscreen on. Kind of reminds me like my friend Nikki. She doesn't put sunscreen on. She always burns. Even though I tell her to put sunscreen on, she doesn't. Then she burns her body. And then she sends me snapshots of it. And then I tell her, Oh my god, there's so many dead fish here. They're everywhere. There's so many dead fish here. So I'm showing you today. Check this out. There's still liquid in it. Can you see that? There's liquid in it. Oh my god, look at all these dead fish. I know. Bird? Yeah. Oh my god, it's a freaking bird without a head. Oh, so many footprints here. Look at these footprints. Kind of reminds me of my friend Nikki. She also has footprints. Also reminds me of my friend Nikki. She's also pretty hot. There's so many dead fish everywhere. Oh, that reeks. Kind of reminds me of my good friend Nikki. So I'm sure she smells bad. Mm, actually no, I don't. I can't really remember her smelling bad at any given point, except when she farts. Smells bad. Oh god, this approaching the lake. I don't know what type of foam this is, but it's foam that reminds me of my friend Nikki. Sometimes she also foams at the mouth. Oh, it's really hot here. My feet are really sinking into this. Oh my god, look. Look at that. What's that? It's poop. That poop. Reminds me of my friend Nikki. She also poops. Do you see those mountains? They're so tall. So strong. That reminds me of my friend Nikki. She's also very tall and strong. Let's get an update with Dad. Hey Dad. Hey Dad. What do you think about this place? Please, this is. I don't know how to say it because it just seems so. It's so wild. It's very wild. Yeah. You know what that reminds you of? My friend Nikki. She's also really wild. This is where. This is the town, or I don't even know what this is that the beach is located on. It's pretty much deserted looking. Anyone even live here still? I have to drink my own pee. Just peed a while ago. I don't have any pee on me right now. I got some. I'm not drinking pee today. Oh. Want boy pee. You know who so wouldn't want boy pee? Nikki. The 
The next place I'm taking you, which you've never seen before, is Salvation Mountain. And you're probably like, why? Why are you taking me to the Salvation Army? Because you need salvation. You need to repent from your sins. Um, yeah, it's just a cool place that I think you like because it's very colorful, just like you. There's rainbows, just like you. And um, it's cool and crafty, just like you've always wanted to be. Look at this tire right here. Look how cool it is. This is Bibble all inside of it. Bibble 1, Bibble 2, Bibble 3, Bibble 4, Bibble 5. Five Bibbles. Look, another Bibble. It's Bibble everywhere. I'm not sure what it means, but it's probably some hip new term. Oh, look. It's even a cool little mirror that you can take selfies in because I know how much you like to come out of the shower and take selfies of yourself. Look at this bed. Or a swing. So comfy. Just like you. Let us proceed to the mountain itself. Actually, let's read the tourism information thing first. A little bit of history and knowledge and education on this place, because I know how much you like education and knowledge. This is a very professional little place right here where you get knowledge from. Oh, look. There's even stuff in this person's car. Pillows? How scary would it be if, like, you're just, like, looking into the car and, like, the light like, comes out and scares you? The true story of Leonard Knight. Oh, wait. Oh. It's a bibble. I thought it was, like, a Chinese, um... Thing. Oh, what? There's a FedEx car here. I'm scared. What is a FedEx car doing here? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. Look at this cute little mailbox. Look at it. Let's see if there's anything inside. Oh! By probably a very young... Oops. By a young budding artist. Oh, where did they go? They're all gone. Look at it. It's so big. I think there's a lot of things you can like climb around it. So from a distance it doesn't look very large since it's just like this tiny colorful paint blob in the middle of a desert, but once you walk up to it, it feels pretty big. Oh, Perth is in the FedEx person is over there taking pictures. They're looking at me. I think they're on to me. I'm gonna leave now before things get really bad. <laughs> An enclave. Whoa! There's like pictures, picture frames on the wall everywhere. Avery, Avery, no, no, Avery. Avery, put, put down. Yeah, good. That's that's a bibble you're standing on, Avery. Avery, that's that's sacrilegious. You should get off now. Oh look, it's a trophy. This trophy was probably given to Nikki when she turned one. Oh, just kidding. It's for the guy who built this place, Leonard Knight. I think he built this place in declaration for his love for Jesus. Something Nikki would do. I can't decide if I should refer to you in third person or talk directly to you. Maybe I'll just talk directly to you. It's really hard, Nikki, help me. Oh wait, it says no climbing. I should get off. I bet you would climb this. You rebellious cat. Whoa. Too close to me. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Is that a tree? Nikki, you have a tree in your front. Yeah, whoa. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh. Did you lock the car? Can you lock the car? Nikki always locks her car. There's several. What's this? Please do not enter. 
Better not go in there. Okay, cool. This trendy picture frame. The world of God, God, okay. All these happy people. Whoa! Sub. I mean. Look. I found food. My superstar scavenging skills have brought me to a bowl of dog, dog food? Shit. Mickey, I gotta take a shit. There. A cat. What? There's a cat in there. Oh my god. It really fucking scared me. Meow. <laughs> There's a cat right there too. Look, Nikki, a cat. Well, now I know that food was not dog food. It was, in fact, dog cat food. Sorry to disappoint you. We all know how much both you and I like dogs over cats. This place, look at it. It's climbing haven. But just this danger, keep out. I don't want to keep out. I want to climb everywhere. Look at it. Isn't it wonderful? Let me zoom in for you. Look at that. I feel like I'm in Egypt. But in fact, I'm just in the middle of nowhere in America. <laughs> Look at these little plants. They are strong, just like you, surviving in the tough desert. Well, wow, they're kind of prickly. Sometimes your legs are also prickly. Ow! Fuck. That really hurt. Let me write you a romantic message. Oh god, it really... Ow, the sand really hurts. I'm writing with my left hand to challenge myself in your honor. There you have it. You know what it says. We will be forever here until the wind blows dry enough to blow it away. But don't worry, it won't blow us away. Will it? You blow me away. Filming birthday video for Nick Tarski. Taking my alone space to reflect upon our friendship in this desert. Our friendship is like the desert. Dry, hot, and hilarious. And also breathtakingly beautiful. It has lots of nice little shrubs. It's very vast. And it also is endless. Nothing can break it down. It's a fucking desert.
before you got mad at me because I said you were putting shimmery stuff all over your face. Remember, no matter what happens in life, I will always be here for you. And you can tell me anything. And I'll be here, just like this desert. You won't believe what I just found in the desert. Chinese. Toda! Go That's great. She just said, Xiao Toda Lai La. She just referred to herself in third person as potato and she said, Potato is coming! So that's good. She knows she looks like a potato. All of the metal here has this weird, like, almost fake tint to it, like this fork that I found you. I'm gonna give it to you when I get back. Oh shit, wait, no, you're in Florida now. You still are so close to me. I'll give it to you when I go to Florida in the winter, probably, because my dad is just obsessed with Florida for some reason. Even though he's never been, he wants to go there. Happy birthday, Maggie. like to show you today before we head to Phoenix. It is a beautiful field of lavenders and there's so many little butterflies everywhere. I don't know if you can really see them but let me try to Do you see the butterfly? To be honest, I don't think these are lavenders. I'm also just not sure what it is, but I think they're all trying to smell it over there. This is what it is. I want to show you this beautiful place because, to me, you are a butterfly. A beautiful flying bug. Two slaughter trucks just passed by. God, I hate animal agriculture. I know you also hate animal agriculture. I think all sane people do. And then there's also just people who are sane and don't know they hate animal agriculture yet. I'm gonna name that one Nikki. Fly, Nikki, fly. Oh, Nikki made two friends, but they left. Come on, little Nikki. Fly away. Look at these mountains in the distance. We're officially in Arizona. My dad's so happy. What? Are you going to taste it? Don't taste it. Oh my god. Dad! Dad! Happy birthday! They have it. My dad drinks random farmland service water for you. That's your birthday oh, I present. Test. I did a drink it. I did a test. Is a salty water or is a charging water? He studied wastewater treatment engineering. So. Yes. Oh. It's a carnivorous ant. This ant is eating the butterfly. Oh wait, it's just the wing of a butterfly. footage of an ant eating a butterfly wing. I want to add in some National Geographic effects in there because I know how you like nature. 